lot of different weather going on. Not what you'd yeah. expect for a cookout weekend. Flooding rains, lots of lightning out there, some hail, and then high mountain snow. We saw yeah. it all in New Mexico over the weekend. But yeah, things starting to settle down and switch back towards summertime in a big time hurry. We've got some hot temperatures coming our way over the next couple of afternoons. Let's look back and some of the rainfall totals. The big winter, Roswell, again, this was a one day rainfall record, uh, basically all happening very early on Saturday morning. And we showed you some of the just terrible flooding images. Edgewood, about an inch and a half. Tosuke, just north of Santa Fe, you had over an inch in the rain gauge. Fort Sumner, about an inch. The water level quite high on the lake. Going to be a great summer out in Fort Sumner. Uh, Los Lunas, about six tenths of an inch in Rio Rancho, just over a half inch. And that's basically what we saw around most of the Albuquerque metro. Updating you on our drought watch status for the Albuquerque Sunport. Uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday adding up to about a .55 in the rain gauge. That was over half of our yearly rainfall so far. We should be at about two and a half inches, so we're still about an inch and a half below average. Here's a look at what's happening right now. Just a handful of leftover showers around the Sangre de Cristos in northeast New Mexico. Raton, still a sprinkle. We do have a little bit of rain and mountain top snow over the Sangre de Cristos, and then around Fort Sumner, Tucumcari, and uh, back towards the Santa Rosa area. You could pick up maybe an additional sprinkle or two before this activity winds down in the next couple of hours. 65 right now in Albuquerque, 57 Santa Fe, 52 Taos. Still a couple spots in the low to mid 70s across southern New Mexico. No wind issues out there right now. Seven miles per hour. That's the uh, sustained wind speed at the Albuquerque Sunport. And we look ahead towards tomorrow. Should be a delightful day. Warm temperatures, lots of sunshine, and no wind issues. Looking good from start to finish less than 10 miles per hour sustained basically all day long. And that's no surprise when high pressure does build in, that typically does lead to the calm and quiet skies. And we'll see a pretty big time warm up. Tomorrow, probably looking about 10 to 15 degrees warmer than today. And Wednesday, right now, is looking like the warmest day of the week. Just want to take you through Wednesday statewide. Tau Santa Fe, right around 80 degrees. We'll be flirting with 90 in Albuquerque. We haven't hit 90 at the Albuquerque Sunport just yet this year. Look at Sokoto, T or C, 93s, and Deming and Cruces topping out around 96. It won't be an extreme heat event for the southeastern part of the state, though. That's because you'll have those east winds blowing out of Texas. Uh, we're talking high temperatures tomorrow. Roswell down to Carlsbad, pretty close to 90 degrees. And Alamogordo, probably. Probably gets into the low 90s. You're going to make a run at 80 in Rudo, so southern Rio Grande Valley in southwest New Mexico. It's mostly going to be lower 90s. Silver City, somewhere in the mid to upper 80s. Those high mountain valleys always do stay just a little bit cooler this time of year. West central and northwestern New Mexico in the mid to upper 80s with even hotter temperatures expected for Wednesday. Now, there will be just one small corner of the state where we can't rule out a couple showers developing over the high terrain here in the north central and northeastern part of New Mexico. Los Alamos, Santa Fe, and Taos, at least 10 warmer than today, though. You're going to be inching close to 80 degrees. Degrees. And even though we can't rule out a shower for Vegas, Raton, and maybe even the Moriarty and Santa Rosa area, we do expect temperatures in the upper 70s and middle 80s. Big time progress over today. And look at the Albuquerque metro. Tonight's lows close to 50. Tomorrow we are in the mid to upper 80s. Places like Berlin and Los Lunas inching towards 90 degrees. And at the Sunport, we're going to give 90 degrees a pretty good run for its money on Wednesday. Thursday, uh, can't rule out a shower, I would say, but really we're looking at Friday and Saturday for the next pretty good chance at seeing widespread showers and storms around the state. You know what? Shelly, if we can get these rainfall events uh, maybe once or twice a week, yeah. we can really start to make some progress on the state's drought, which is now wearing on to three and a half years. Wow. All so. right. Let's hope. Well, too much.